Hello everyone, it's Andrea and today I'm here with a colouring supplies and book haul. Um, I've got quite a lot this month actually, so first of all I'm just going to show you um, the supplies. So first of all I got some nice pencil cases to put my pencils in. So in this one I have my Marco Refine which is 72 and it's in three sets, like so. Just to zoom out a little bit so you can see it. And then in this one, I have my famous pastel classics, and I also have the few polychromos that I have. So those were two, and they were from Amazon, they were less than £10. I also got a big case to put, and I just hit the camera, my Prismacolors in, so I can take them with me um, when I go away. So I'm going away soon to Tenby for a few days. So I got this to put them in and there's some space over here for some others and I'll be putting some other pencils in here then. I really like this because it holds them nicely and that one's coming out, just trying to anyway. And this one, look, this was about £20 again from Amazon and it's got a nice strap and a handle if you wanted to use that. I got some more Polychromos pencils this month, I only got four and they're more of the flesh tones and I got an orange one which is uh, orange glaze and I've got light flesh and this is medium flesh and this one is cinnamon which is a lovely colour. I did get one color stuff pencil but I've put it in the box and the box is upstairs and I haven't brought that down. I got two of the Koh-i-Noor Tritone pencils. I want to, as you can see I have been using them. I did want to get the full set but it's like £50 for the full set and I can't really afford it at the moment. Though I might, now I've used these two, save up and get it because I really did like it. And I got Ember and Spanish Night and I have been using these. I got a tin of Duent Academy watercolour skin tones. So there, there's the skin tones. So I haven't really, I have used them a bit, but I haven't used them much yet. So I need to practice with those. I got quite a lot of supplies, as you can tell, this month. I've got a new Stickles, if I can just get that, which is the um, Holly Green. And this is for the Christmas in July um, colorathon that Reading with Pugs, The Colorful Life, and Shaleen Talend are hosting next month. I got some Pebbles chalks. I've seen these on various channels. I got the classic Basic Brights and the Earth Tones. Uh, I haven't used the Earth Tones yet, but I have used the classic Brights, the Brights, and the. I do like them and I, I, when I do a wrap up I, I will show you because I've left the pictures somewhere else. Yeah, good like that I am. I bought a 60 pack of gel pens from Hobbycraft and this was £5 for 60 of them and there's glitter metallic neon and pastel and I've used these quite a bit and they were really really good for £5 they're really really good value and they work really nicely. <coughs> And then the one thing I was lucky enough to get this month because I had a nice little bonus at work with something I've wanted for a long time and that is the 72 set of Ink Tents by Derwent. Now I have never ever used any of these but look, look at the prettiness of the top set. I have swatched these already. Gorgeousness. And I really like using them. And I'll just uh, get my Hannah Lynn picture now that I've done with these. So I had fun doing that with them and just trying different ways of doing it because I'd not used them before. So I did some of it putting the pencil directly onto the paper and some of it taking the ink off the pencil and, and tried it both ways to see which way I liked. So quite happy with how she turned out. That was the first time with ink tents. This is the, the Derwent watercolours. The only thing I find is that the ink does run from my printer so it'll be all right on coloring books but not so much on these freebie print ups so I really like those and I have used it in romantic country as well 
but I'll show you in a minute because I got some books this month including a romantic country um, so it's book one I've got and I have been colouring the detail map with the ink tents as you can see this was is very uneven and this looks it's still uneven but it's getting better so it's practice quite like the lake the lake I think actually looks like a lake <clears throat> but it is just practicing I, I mean I'm not gonna worry about it I enjoy using them and they are fun so I've only done one other picture in this already and that was the manor house which was for a, a color along on Facebook so that was the first book I got this month um, I did get after seeing it on Jen reading with Pugs channel thank you for being my enabler this month The Wizard of Oz by Fabiana Atinasso um, and this is gorgeous I really can't wait to get started in this one I love The Wizard of Oz the way that people like Alice in Wonderland me I'm a Wizard of Oz girl so thank you Jen for showing this on your channel so I had to go and get it and I will be probably picking up some more of Fabiana's fantastic books soon got another Jade Summer book which is Hidden Garden this isn't the best angle I will admit I normally like to have it angled further down how exactly if I do it that better that's better just uh, pull it. yeah it's a bit not quite high enough now let me just take it up that's as high as it'll go okay so this is Hidden Garden by Jade Summer I am a big Jade Summer fan as you know um, she's also got a, a, an Enchanted Forest one as well and these are just pretty look at the wow that's so nice so I'll hopefully do a few full through of this one and I'll also do one of the Wizard of Oz one as well at some point Talking of Jade Summer, I also got, I got three, well, four technically this month, got her Mermaids book. This one's been a lot on, on uh, YouTube. And I love Mermaids, so. I always try and get a couple of Jade Summer books every month to add to my Jade Summer collection, so I picked up that one, and I'm really looking forward to that one. I'm gonna take that one on holiday with me, I think. I got Jade Summer, Everyday Horror Colouring Book, which is a horror one. Um, I've also got her Haunted House one as well. So I probably will save this though till for Halloween because it's kind of, kind of gruesome, I like. Talking of Jade Summer, I was lucky enough to get a free copy of her newest book to review. So I don't, I think it's a PDF, so I've got the printout it's here. And it's Kawaii Girls. And it's just like these really cute pictures. I've printed them all up ready. And we're gonna do some coloring in one of those soon. Um, I will be buying the book for my Jade Summer collection, but I thought I would, uh, get the downloads, print them up, and then I can do a review of it on my Amazon uh, account. So there's that one. I got a Wonder Woman colouring book. Now, it's not the one that you've seen on Grace's channel. This is a different one. Um, I love the cover, and they're very simple drawings on the inside to, to colour in. So there's quite a lot of them as well the paper's not quite thin paper but do you know what for pencils even for markers if you put something in between the pages it would be fine so I love Wonder Woman uh, I will be getting the one that Grace has got when I get paid I hope so and I love the cover and then there's at the back this 60 illustrations for kids and adults I got the new Selena Fennec book, which unusually for Selena Fennec is not one of beautiful women, but is Ponds and Flowers, Beautiful Water Gardens. So we got fish and flowers and ponds and frogs, and it's just, excuse me, okay, completely different from everything that Selena Fennec normally does, and that's why I wanted to pick it up because it's totally different, and I thought I'd give it a go. And I do like Selena Fennec's work as well. Another new one I got, I've not seen on anybody's channel, and this is Hidden Spirits of the Enchanted Forest by, illustrated by Forest Diver by Akami Books. Now this is a 
Amazon printed book. So it's not, the pages aren't really thick. But they're not horrendous either. You could put paper behind it and use markers in it or just pencils. And this is really pretty. I will be doing a flip through of this one fairly shortly. I love the pictures in this book. And this one was like only $3.99 on Amazon, so it was really cheap. And they're just really sweet pictures, as you can see. So I'll do a full, full th flip through of that one shortly. And the last book I got so far this month, and I say so far this month because it's my birthday in a week's time and I know I'm gonna be getting more coloring books um, and money and I'll be buying supplies, is Joanna Bassford's Joanna's Christmas. And this again is for the Christmas in July color along um, that Jen, Shaleen and Anne are hosting. Um, I've known about it for a while and I've wanted to do it for a long time. I, I, you know, I want to join in with the Christmas in July. Um, they're only using this book, so I will try and colour the same pages that they do, just for fun. It'll be difficult because the first weekend in July I am on late at work, so there may not be much videoing going on, but I will try and do a little bit of videoing. I love the pictures in this book. I love Christmas. Little gingerbread houses. And... There's one of a snow globe. I really like the snow globe one. So that was the last one. So as you can see, I got quite a lot of colouring books. I got my Inktense pencils, finally. I got 60 gel pens, Derwent Watercolour Skin Tones, some more Polychromos, some Koinors, the Pebbles Chalks, the Stickles, three pencil cases and another colour soft pencil. So I think that's a very, very good haul for June. And yes, there will be more hauling going on soon. Like I said, I'm going to Tenby soon and I will be taking with me some colouring books and my Prisma colours, uh, along with my flesh coloured polychromos and my tritones, just so I can do some pictures. I haven't decided what I'm taking yet, but... Uh, Oh, to choose from. Just too much. So that is my colouring haul. I hope I will see you all very, very soon. I hope I can enable you to buy some of these books or colouring supplies. I really like the ink tents. I'm re I really like the polychromos. It's the first time I actually used polychromos was in a book um, this month because I don't have very many. I've got less than 10 of them, but I wanted the flesh colour ones to see what they were like. Um, and I really like them and I like the pebbles shorts too so go out and buy lots of colouring things and let's talk about them and I will see you all soon. Bye!